Tonight, two years later, new hope to catch a killer in a double homicide at the Rocky River Reservation. Family and friends gathered in the place where their loved ones were killed. They tell us they need to keep this story alive. There's a black man by the fence and there's a woman in the river. It's a 911 call just released of this day at Rocky River Park from two years ago. The day Cape Brown and Carnell Sledge were shot and killed, longtime friends who were last seen sitting on a bench. Since then, the family waited for an arrest, but it never came. Today, exactly two years later, they've gathered with flowers, signs, and hope at the place where their loved ones died. My biggest heartbreak is the grandkids. I mean, they miss her terribly. Kate's family hasn't stopped fighting for answers. They know she's not with us anymore. She's in heaven, but... A family with a missing piece. The first few holidays and whatever, we'd get together for a group picture, and you just felt the void of oh. Kate not being there. Loved ones are hoping someone comes forward with tips. We want to keep the story of Kate and Carnell alive so that... And you don't know what happens through the course of a week, a month, a year. Somebody may have heard something in a bar. They may have... I mean, you, you never know. People talk. The Cleveland Metro Parks police chief says the case is still very active. So over the past two years, we have vetted over 100 tips from Crime Stoppers, from Cleveland Metro Parks tip line, and from the FBI tip line. We've interviewed over 200 people. And Kate Brown's family says no tip is too small. Ten minutes after five o'clock on a Tuesday on a day like this, to have three gunshots that close to the road with somebody in the parking lot doing paperwork and no one heard a thing, no one saw a thing, it's just unbelievable. A tip leading to an arrest could be worth a reward of $100,000. If you know anything, you can call the Crime Stoppers number at 216-252-7463, and you do not have to give your name.